Hello, today I'm going to be showing you Beta 2, iOS 7, hands on first look on the iPad that developers released to the iPad. There are quite a few bugs with it that I've noticed and there's been a significant change in the operating system and the UI of it. There is loads of bugs like this, even though it's in landscape mode, the time and the iPad, like the battery and the Wi-Fi sign and tell you that it's an iPad is there and it's also at the top but if you go into portrait mode it is there one minute I just need to focus my camera it's got it there but it ain't got it down any of the sides so that's one bug that Apple need to fix with the iPad version because it's not on the iPhone or iPod Touch version. Now, there's been significant change with the UI. Like I said, there's made the colours more bland, and they've put a glass, a glass shelf at the bottom. All it is is just a pane of glass, apart from just a shelf, like it was on iOS 6. I do like the change. People don't like the change, but I like the change personally. So there's been a few other added apps like Photo Booth, for instance. Here's the folders. They they say you can have unlimited things in folders, <coughs> and I've got loads of games in my folders. On Photo Booth, it's just generally self-explanatory. Really, it just does that. Right, I will close that app down <coughs> and there has been significant change with music app for instance <coughs> I have only got one playlist on here which is dubstep <coughs> uh, I can't find iTunes radio like they did on the beta for the iPhone but they might release that in future betas for the iPad. There's other significant changes like the multitasking for instance. I really do like the multitasking on it. <coughs> it is a difference. They've copied Windows multitasking with that I think. And what you do, you slide down nothing happens. But if you slide up, the app just disappears and kills the app. Just like that. And then you click back onto it. There's been something that's called the the Apple are calling the control center, which is this. Oh, it's bugging out at the minute on me. It's not letting me access anything, so I'll just lock my iPad and unlock it. Don't look at my passcode. <laughs> There's been called that's called the control center. And you can play music and stuff, but the playing music ain't very good on it. They need to change something about it. You can access your camera quickly. <coughs> you can access all of these toggles, all of the main toggles like airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, do not disturb mode. And this is a clock to get quickly to your clock. And then in your clock, you've got alarms, wall clock, stopwatch and timer. And then go back to control center, you can toggle your volume, but it's a bit laggy with the finger, so you need to do that as a bug fix. With the brightness, same, it's a bit laggy when you go up and down, but not so as laggy as the sound one. We'll just turn that up. And you swipe up from the bottom of the screen to get it and slide down to get it. The one thing that I do like is the notification center because they've done it so it's a full screen view. <coughs> you've got three things at the top. You've got today, you've got all, and then you've got missed. Like all of them are just general, like games and stuff. You missed ones if you've got missed calls or if you've had texts that you've not seen for a while. And then you slide up. They've done this kind of transparent view to give you more experience with the UI <coughs> they've changed everything it's the notes 
and they have changed they've changed all of these it's not much anymore as uh, like the old notepad it's not yellow well orange a colour it's just like a plain piece of paper they've changed the keyboard and I don't know but you might be able to still split the keyboard yeah but it's a bit laggy <coughs> <coughs> sorry I've got a cold on the photos they've done a really significant change that I really do like you go onto here and you've got all of your photos I'm not going to show you all because I've got private photos on there you go into your collections <coughs> and it sorts them by time and where you were for instance so these are like the 2nd to the 14th of June and uh, where you were and stuff and if you click on it it comes up like that and then you click on it and then you go back and you can even go into years <coughs> and then all your photos are here you keep your finger on it to scan through the photos and when you've found the one that you want you can just click onto it like that and then go back and then back I do like it and you can do the same with this as well like that so you can go to years for instance you can go into your shared photos like you can do out iCloud photo sharing which it's the same as photo streaming but you can stream with your friends now which you can just create a new stream for instance I just call it hi and then next and then I can put who I want to stream it with let's say Tom Dennison for instance and then create <coughs> and then there's no videos he's got iOS 7 beta 2 on his iPad as well you go into your albums and there's your albums you've got your camera roll you've got your paramount panoramas that's what I call it you've got your videos I do like that they've done I think just for the videos that is good because I hated going through my camera roll <coughs> just to access your videos and you can still do folders and stuff. <coughs> Another thing that I like is the settings on it. You've got all of this. They've done like a white sort of version of it. And then you've got all your settings here. And they've done something that's called background refresh. <coughs> which I do like because the apps will refresh in the background. So when you go onto the app, it does. It's already refreshed. And... Safari, they've done stuff like the tabs, but they I've, I thought they was going to do the same as the iPhone tabs, but they haven't. They've done is your iCloud tabs, so if you took a tab on your phone, it automatically saves it there. <coughs> and then you've got your bookmarks and stuff, and then you've got like add, for instance, and then you've got the things here, and if you search something like Wikipedia. <coughs> it comes up in Google and then just close the app down <coughs> and they've done let's look at camera and they've done it and you can just slide up and down you've got your square view you've got your photo view and your video view they've changed the camera significantly and then you can now something that I Apple have been meaning to add for all of the uh, updates is zoom to the camera but for some reason it don't work on the beta version but they might fix that in future beta versions and you got your new stand it looks better on the iPhone and stuff I'll go on to my nuts magazine because I, I like cars and that's the only magazine that's free that's got cars in it there's no naked women like the the normal magazines but yeah and then the new stand does actually look really nice it looks better on the iPad than it does on the iPhone version <coughs> and then you've got your calendar and it like again they've done like a white sort of feel to it and then I've got all of my notification and to add one you just simply keep your finger down and then add it to wherever you want and then you can do that So, last thing, and I'll show you on the hands-on preview number two of the other ones, App Store. This is a nice change that I really do like. This is something that really caught my eye, the App Store. 
because they've they've done like a white and grey UI, a white and grey colour all the way through the UI. And on App Store, it does both of them. <coughs> like, and uh, yeah, you, it still looks the same, but it's just I do like how they've done this at the top instead of you doing all the other, and they've done these at the bottom like this. And then you've got a near me thing, which is if someone's near your current location, if you're a tourist, for instance, <coughs> and you're at the Eiffel Tower, then you can download the apps that they download because it might be good for that sort of place. So we'll close that down. This is the hands-on preview of uh, hands-on first look preview of iOS 7 a beta 2 iPad version. What I I'm going to say is I do like iOS 7 but they've made it too cartoony for me I do like the user interface of it but they need to make the colors more brighter instead of just simple colors that's what they've done just simple colors they need to make it more brighter that is something that I would like right thank you guys for giving me the opportunity to show you the iOS 2 beta version and the lock screen has changed also I'll just show you that quickly you can also access your control center from your home screen and there's something that they've been meaning to do notification center from home screen you don't slide like you do on the iOS 7 iOS 6 version you don't slide just one bar you can slide the whole screen and on this they've done like a uh, an animation background and uh, if you move your iPad it goes with the background if you move your iPad the background goes where you move it that is something that I really do like so right I'm going to go now guys I'll, s I'll show you in the preview number two this is preview number one so cheers bye